Hey, Mr. Breton Gordon is a defense analyst and also an advisor to NGOs in Syria and Iraq on chemical weapons. He joins us now live from Salisbury in the UK. Thanks so much for speaking to us. We appreciate it. First of all, Iran has touted this, even though the mission essentially failed, as a remarkable achievement. Is it a remarkable achievement for Iran, or is this just a way to escape admitting failure in this program? Well, I, I think it's an excuse for a whole range of things. We know they tested this missile, the Phoenix missile, uh, in August last year, and it blew up, and that got a lot of condemnation from the Americans, particularly President Trump, who believes that this missile program, the Iranians are saying it's for putting satellites in the air. Uh, the Americans and others believe that it uh, contravenes the UN Security Council resolution that prevents Iran producing a missile that could fire a nuclear warhead. Um, and this is the sort of missile that could certainly do that. We also know that uh, you know, Iran is behind a lot of terror activities in the Middle East and its, its proxies and its militias are fighting in Iraq and of course fighting in Syria at this very moment against Turkish forces. So I think we're all very circumspect about this uh, and the fact that they are, are lauding its success, um, I don't think that wants to cover up too much what it is, but the fact is these missiles could go a, a very long way, as far as Israel, its sworn <coughs> enemies, and others. And uh, I expect the Americans to comment on it. And uh, I think um, the international community must make sure that this is not developed any further. Okay. I mean, let's ask about this from another angle then. Can Iran really afford an endeavor this expensive? I mean, space programs and these kinds of defense programs are notoriously expensive. Um, and really is one of the biggest expenditures for a government to fund. Iran is not in a very capable position given the sanctions it's under right now. Do they run the risk of, I don't know, even bankrupting themselves by insisting on, on pursuing these kinds of very expensive programs? Well, you're right. It does seem rather strange that they're doing this for all the reasons that you say. I expect it's also um, bravado on their front, uh, trying to show that perhaps they have more technical capability than they actually do, and of course, more military weaponry than they actually do. I'm sure it's uh, they're trying to show to the Israelis that they have the ability to strike uh, against them if, if there was some sort of confrontation there. And, and I think uh, the Iranians are trying to uh, take control of the Middle East uh, with all their forces in Iraq and Syria. At the moment, this is them trying to position themselves. And it's very important for us uh, in the West and in Turkey, you know, not to be blindsided by this sort of thing, because, you know, as as we know, it is Iranian militias, you know, who are supporting the Syrian regime who could, you know, have a huge impact in this region. So I expect quite a lot of it is is propaganda and disinformation. Um, but again, it is destabilizing and the international community needs to be very strong in its co condemnation and ensure that uh, they do not get missiles that could possibly fire nuclear warheads. Okay, but I mean, does the U.S., as Trump has alluded to before, have the technology anyway to kind of stop these missiles before they're even really completed? They can target this stuff uh, almost on the ground, correct? Well, certainly, I think um, President Trump alluded to the fact that, uh, uh, that uh, there might have been some involvement from an electronic perspective on the missile that failed to work in uh, back in August last year. Certainly, the, the Americans have a very strong capability for taking uh, missiles out that might be fired towards the US or, or other of its allies. So I don't think people are overly concerned that the Iranians have a technical advantage, but they're probably getting a lot of advice and help from, from some of their allies like the Russians and the Syrians. I think this is part of the general peace at the moment uh, in the Middle East with the Iranians trying to flex their muscles and gain support. Um, but I expect strong combination, condemnation of the Americans and, um, and I'm sure that will happen. And I don't think we should be overly <coughs> concerned that they have some capability that could affect us you know, in Europe or Turkey or elsewhere. Okay. Hey, Mr. Breton Gordon joining us there. Thank you so much uh, for your insight. We appreciate it. Let's